guys, it's Jessie from Jessie Shelf, and today I'm doing the end day book tag for you guys. Now, this tag was originally created by Emma from Emma Books, and I was tagged by Morgan from Morgie Reads. I will link both their channels down below, and anyone I have tagged is linked down below as well. So, basically, this tag was created in honor of Adam Silvera's new release. They both die at the end. I have not read the book. I know there's just kind of like this world where you get a text of when you're going to die but you don't know how you're going to die and you kind of connect with other people who are also going to die on this sort of app thing. It sounds very interesting and it's one of the books he's written that I'm really interested in so I'm hoping to read it soon. But this tag was created in honor of that and there's seven questions and let's get started. Question one is if you could read only one book on your end day what book would that be? And hands down that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. I don't think I have to explain this because everybody knows how much I love this freaking book and I just love it so much. I have so many good memories reading it and that is hands down the book I would read on my end day. Question two is if you could spend your end day with one author, who would it be? What would you say to them and what questions would you ask? And I'm going to have to go with Cassandra Clare and that's because I have loved Cassandra Clare's writing for so long and I would just tell her how much I enjoy her characters and her books and applaud her for diversity in her books and doing it so well and I would just ask where she came up with the idea of this story, how she drafted out all her characters and how the heck she keeps up with all of these books and worlds that are connected like because all of her books are shadow hunter books are connected so how does she keep up with the infernal devices and the moral instruments like i know authors like really immerse themselves in it but how do you not get everything mixed up that that would be my question so question number three is what book quote would you use for your epitaph and for this i'm going with a quote from fiercely happy by jenny lawson and that quote is be as visibly fucked up as you want because being unique is already taken I like that. We're going with that. Question number four is if you were given safe travels to and from, where would you last read on your end day? And for this, I'm going my family cabin. I'm not going with some crazy place. I would just want to be at my family cabin because that's where I love to read. And I have a lot of memories there with my family growing up. Question number five is what fictional world would you want to spend your end day at? And I'm going to go with Hogwarts. I have not read all the Harry Potter books, but I would just love to go to Hogwarts and like sift through the library and meet everyone and just see this beautiful massive castle and just have a blast. Question six is if you went to make a moment what book scene would you want to experience? I'm assuming make a moment is something and they both die at the end so I don't really know what it is but if I was going to go into a book and experience something I would really want to go into the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and just sit with Monique and experience Evelyn Hugo telling her story. That would just be awesome because I like writing as well and I like history and I like celebrity gossip. So it would just be a really cool thing to experience. And the last question is what would be my preferred method of a fictional death? This is a weird question. Um, I don't think about how I want to die, but I guess if I have to, I'd want to die for a good cause. And there you guys have it. That is the end day book tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below. Let me know some of your answers to these questions. What you think if you've read. Um, they both die at the end. Let me know what you thought of it. And I will see you guys in my next video.